Hello everyone, this is Suzanne at Guy Crochet and Chatter. How is everyone doing? I think I might be turning the corner. I've been on medicine for the infection and an antibiotic. I'm still on a soft diet. Today is probably the first day, first time in over a week that I'm starting to feel like I'm turning that corner, which is awesome. It has been a rough week and a half, but I'm getting through it. And I decided to come on today. The spirit moved me and I'm not feeling too bad right now. Uh, the problem is in my midriff. Um, it gets very sore. So I don't go back to my gastrologist till December 29th was the earliest I could get me in. And I know I'm due for a colonoscopy too, which I'm not looking forward to. So I'm putting that off till the first of the year. <laughs> Give me a couple more months to settle this down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we have a lot to cover today. First of all, I do want to mention on November 12th, we'll be drawing a winner for the um, Name It, Claim It giveaway. If you have not signed up for that, I did put the link in the drop down box below. And something else that I added new is on, <clears throat> let me see, read my notes here. Okay, on Fridays, we're going to be, I'm going to be adding an informational devotion, um, video, informational video that I find on YouTube. These are to help increase our knowledge, to keep abreast of what's going on in the world, and you will find the link in the, Again, in the drop-down box below, I would urge you to click that link. It talks about the 2022 Baal Worship event. This is going on today. As we know, evil is abounding. Um, sexuality is exploding in a bad way throughout America and other countries. We certainly need to pray continuously every day for a change to come. All right, I'm going to quick go over what we do during the week for those of you that are newer to our channel. On Monday, we do a review of a Bible book. I believe we're in 1st, 2nd, 3rd John or Jude. I'm not sure, but we do that on Mondays. We started way back in Genesis, and we did an overview of each book of the Bible, which has been very interesting and very helpful. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, of course, devotionals, and devotionals are done every day. Thursday is Thirsty Thursday. We do a book reading. Right now, we're reading through Man, Myth, Messiah. And also on Friday, um, the informational video and a devotional, a book and or movie review. And then Saturday and Sunday, we take time to reflect. <clears throat> All right, let's get to our... Talking point cards. This is something I do. I do talking point, everyday inspiration cards, which is these, or I do the trivia card. Well, here is your talking point question for today. Are there any situations where you think it is acceptable to lie? You can think of one, let me know. Okay, that's your question. All right, today we are going to do a devotional called Blessing in the Mess. I got myself into this mess, so I better get myself out. I sometimes find myself thinking, have you ever gotten in a mess and think, oh boy, what am I going to do to fix this? Although I believe in a God of grace, I'm still prone to act as if his help is available only when I deserve it. God's first encounter with Jacob is a beautiful illustration of how untrue this is. Jacob has spent a lifetime trying to alter his destination. He'd been born second at a time when firstborn sons typically received their father's blessings, believed to guarantee future prosperity. So Jacob decided to do whatever it would take to get his father's blessing anyway. Eventually, he succeeded through deceit obtaining the blessing intended for his brother. But the price was a divided family as Jacob fled from his furious brother. As night descended, Jacob must have felt as far from a life of blessing as ever. 
but it was there, leaving a trail of deception, that Jacob met God. God showed him he didn't need to he didn't need desperate schemes to be blessed. He already was. His destiny, a purpose far greater than material material prosperity, was held secure by the one who would never leave him. It was a lesson that Jacob would spend his whole life learning. And so will we, no matter how many regrets we carry or how distant God seems. He is still there, gently guiding us out of our mess into his blessing. What messes have you been facing? How has God been providing a rescue for you? God, remind us that you will never give up on your good purposes. A lot of times we find ourselves in a mess by manipulating the situation, maybe. By not telling whole truths. Half-truths are still a lie. And we need to know that God has special blessings in store for each one of us. And there's a reason God does things decently and in order. And we have to trust and rely upon that. If Jacob would have done that, he would have saved himself a whole lot of grief. All right, everyone, that's the devotional for today. And I am going to pace myself today. I'm getting a little bit of a <clears throat> raspy throat, but this too shall pass. And I'm so glad that I am on the mend. I don't know what you have been facing. Um, if you need prayers, um, I'm here for you. In fact, let's say a quick prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for all the blessings you give us. Help us not to get ourselves in messes. Help us to accept where we're at in life and to know that you have greater things in mind for us. But we have to be patient, even through things we don't understand. We have to put our faith and trust in you. Lord, there are a lot of people suffering just within my group. Chronic pain issues, maybe the death of a loved one, financial problems, food, not being able to buy food. Lord, please provide a way for these things to be taken care of. We love you more than words can express. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, everyone, that's it for today. This is Suzanne at God Crochet and Chatter. I'm not yet up to crocheting too much just yet. I know I need to get started, but I'm only doing what I can do, and I'm trying to rest these uh, few days so I can be fully healed of what's going on with me. But I will get back. I will be back with that. I've got a ton of yarn, more than I'll ever use in a lifetime. And, uh, you know, just take it one day at a time, and we'll get through everything together. Take care. Lord willing, I'll be back on Monday with an overview of the book, one of the books of the Bible. I forgot which one offhand, but it's coming. All right, take care. Bye-bye.